to Afternoon Drive Live today here at WGLR. The Barn and Platteville is proud to bring you this interview with Haley and Michaels. If you've got a wedding, family, or class reunion, or special event, make it more than memorable by holding it at the barn. Become a fan on Facebook or click their link at WGLR.com. Call Kurt Timlin today for info at 778-7992. And we are so excited and proud to welcome in studio some friends of mine and friends of Afternoon Drive Live. Haley and Michaels. We want to welcome Shannon and Ryan. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? We're doing great. How are you doing? We're great. great. Have you had it. the chance to see the big M in Platteville yet? Not yet. The no. M today is for Michaels. <laughs> today it is. <laughs> Actually, in a little bit, we'll have you peek out the window even from this room and you'll be able to see it. That is very cool. So today it's for Michaels and we're so excited to have you in studio and welcome you to Afternoon Drive Live. Oh, wow. Thank you. It was 54 weeks ago, it, it's just amazing that I can remember this. Wow. 54 weeks ago, someone from the music industry was in this area, and I was spending some time with them. And we went out to eat, and mostly we were keeping on at a personal level. And they said, hey, like a typical person in the, in the music industry would say, yeah. there's this act I'm going to be working uh -huh. that I'd like you to play you their single, just to see what you think. And it was Haley and Michaels, just another love song. And I remember sitting in this car, listening to this, and my eyes getting huge and going, <laughs> wow, this is incredible. And I thought, it, I, just, I was just so excited. It, it was an act like Haley and Michaels that keeps me re-excited after 25 years in, oh. in the music industry to wow, hear a release you. like this. And I thought, this is amazing. So then the song actually comes out. Instant ad. I've already heard this. I know that I'm going to like this. I, I, I haven't haven't met or communicated with either one of you two right. at all at, at any point. And it wasn't until earlier this year that we talked and you guys were out on the road. Right. And the weird thing about that is I even remember you were in Wichita. Wow. Your memory very, is very and, and the funny impressive. Thing is we don't even you remember. Don't remember, being in Wichita. <laughs> remember talking to you, not where we were. You were actually in Wichita. Wow. And I have no idea. It was probably because... We all know that I'm a dork, and I asked if the Wichita lineman was still on the line. So, <laughs> oh, that's right. That's amazing. <laughs> so, but to take everyone back a little bit further than that, I guess the one thing I want to know is what happened at the Frothy Monkey in January of 2011. Well, <laughs> well, it depends on who you ask, and <clears throat> and you know, but um, that's actually where Shannon and I met. Okay. It was kind of a crazy story. I. We each had our own solo project going yeah. on, and I was making trips back and forth between Los Angeles and Nashville, and was playing with a guitar player who, turns out, was also playing with Ryan, and he knew that I was making a trip to Nashville, so he connected us, and I reached out to Ryan, and uh, she sent he me recognized a message on, my name. Yeah, on Facebook. She sent me a message on Facebook, and I picked up the phone, and I called her, and I said, hey, are you from the Bay Area? And she's like, yeah, and how do you know this? That's very odd. And, and anyway, I told her, I was like, well, I feel like we did this same dance seven years ago on MySpace. And our, our moms had a mutual friend that actually tried to hook us up, and we never connected, but we had been introduced before. This is so weird. Now, tell everyone exactly how far away. I mean, you're talking California yes, here. So we, both are from we California. We requested our addresses that we grew up, and it's 3.3 miles 3.3 miles yes. away, but it takes you both going to Tennessee to find each other. Exactly. exactly. How crazy <laughs> exactly. is that? Yes. Yeah. What a cool story. So you meet up, and was this for professional reasons? It was for professional reasons. Now, yes. and, and that when I, I was saying it depends on, yes, yeah, I was interested right away. <laughs> Shannon was interested in music, and I was interested <laughs> in music too, but I mean, I kind of knew, you know, hey, you know, we need to you know, get married at some point. <laughs> 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 so, Shannon, how long did it take before you realized, well, wow. there's, there's a little something more than just He's some not good all music. That. So. Well, you know, I can be, I was pretty clueless. I was kind of just focused on music. and. Did you know he liked you? I didn't. I didn't know. Now, now isn't that something? People, sometimes, everyone else can see it, but sometimes if someone's interested in you, that you person is the last one I to know. know. I was. I mean, we sang a couple shows together, and I still had no idea 
Yes, yeah, so the, the duo started before the relationship. So we were doing music together. It was a few months, six months, yes. three, four, somewhere in there. Yes. Um, I, I was planning the relationship, <laughs> but <laughs> it took a little time. It took a little time. Yeah. That is absolutely amazing. So we fast forward to present day, where you have a song out on the radio right now. You're getting ready to release a song that already is gotten national attention it, it's absolutely amazing we're going to share those songs coming up. we're going to share some other music from you as well with Haley and michael's live in studio but the first song that i want to feature is uh one more night to break awesome. since we've been talking about love let's talk a little bit about heartbreak yes. and, and kind of balance that out tell me about this song well you know one of the things that when we got engaged we um promised each other that we would not stop singing about all different types of relationships and writing about all different types of relationships and, and different, you know, moments in relationships because that's one of the things that drew us together is we loved, you know, we don't have a lead singer in this duo and so we are always kind of flipping back and forth and because there's a guy and a girl, you can kind of show different aspects of what people go through in their lives mm -hmm. and so with this one, um, this is just the song that we actually got the chance to write with the Warren Brothers, and okay. they've written... Tell them how, how we came to meet the Warren Brothers. Just yeah, kind we, of a fun story we've okay. never really told yeah. anybody. Yes, very interesting. So when I was in Los Angeles, I got a personal assistant job with um, Eric Close, who, he's an actor, mm -hmm. a great actor, great guy, and um, he had never been to Nashville, but I was always making trips back and forth to Nashville, and anyway, I left the job to go really pursue everything and he was so supportive and then a couple months later I get a call from him and he's like you're never gonna believe it I got cast on this show called Nashville and anyway he's the mayor on Nashville yeah. so he's a great guy uh, but he's really good friends with the Warren Brothers and so they ended up um, I think he passed, us he up. passed our early music along to them and they were open to writing with us and we got together and that's pretty much how this this song Perfect. yeah and wow. yeah this is One More Night to Break from Haley and Michaels. More coming up live in studio with them on 97.7 Country and WGLR.com.